hi welcome to my channel today I am going to it's kind of like a rant against this place because I never knew this before but now I know I'll give you a little history to begin with um, back I'd say oh 2001 to 2000 something you know early to maybe 2005 or so um, I was new at the bus company, so I always worked evenings, and sometimes I did the Q32 bus, which went from Penn Station, or Side Street, 33rd Street, all the way into Queens. So, during the day, it's fine, you know, you can probably find places to go use the bathroom. So, this one place here that I'm speaking about, before it was Foley's New York, there were really, really cool people in there. And the where you picked up the bus, you know, where, where we parked our buses to wait our time to sh to go out, um, the bar was right there. So you can go in and use the bath. They let you use the bathrooms because you're bus operators. They say, hey, you know, you're out in the pub. You're out in the public. You're not in an office. You need to use the bathroom. They would let us go, no problem. Then they closed, so that was quite difficult because you'd have to go across the street. I think, I can't remember what was there, and it was hard to, you couldn't get in there or something like that, and the only other place you could use the bathroom is Penn Station, which is all, all the way at the end of the block going back, across the street. Then you go into Penn Station. Then you got to wiggle your way into whatever, bath, you know, to find the bathrooms. So, you know, if you're a man, it's fine, I guess. If you have more than, usually you only had like 12 minutes break from your last, you know, dropping off the people, then picking them back up. So you'd have to go all the way into Penn Station to use the bathroom. And then when this new place opened up, we were happy it opened up. Wow, we got our bathrooms back. We can use them. So we used them not very long, maybe a month or two, not even. And then all of a sudden they wouldn't let us, they said, no, we can't go in there and use the bathrooms. They wouldn't even let us in half the time. Oh, you had to buy or something like, I can't remember. But they wouldn't even let you use the bathroom. And as a woman, that's a little difficult because... It's a longer process. Plus, what if you have your period? So, they didn't care. So, we'd have to go walk all the way to Penn Station. Hopefully get done before your 10 minutes. Or you'd be considered late going out. And it's your fault. Because you had to use the bathroom. And if you had your period, don't even think about it. So the only way you could do it was say, oh, I'm taking a personal, and then you get 20 minutes. But that's the only way. And you can't do that all the time because that means every single time you do that, you leave your route 10 minutes late. So you're always picking up extra people, which makes it extra slow. And plus you're late, so they're crabby because you're late. Then... um at the other end, there was no dispatcher, so you just had to swing around. You had no break, and then you got caught in traffic. You never caught up, so you were late the whole time. And then the next trip you got there, you ended up with no break at all. So in order to get a bathroom break, you'd have to say you needed a personal again, and then it's, it's just snowballs. It's insane. I am so, so glad I don't have that job anymore. I don't care how much money I made. I take this life over that life any day. But anyway, so my husband gets, well, I get this for my husband. Sometimes he read it, sometimes he's not. If not, I just bring it to the hospital for the men over there. Sports Illustrated. So I just happen to be fingering through here. And what do I see? Foley's New York. And it says here, you're in luck. And here's why. The owners of You're in Luck only if you are famous. 
where stars could pee in peace. Well, only they got to pee. The hell with anybody, you know, anybody else. And even us, because we were like, we didn't have a choice. It's not like we were just shoppers that wanted, or regular pub, you know, our job was there. And usually that's what we do. We rely on the small businesses around the, the end of the line to use their bathrooms. Like there was a deli. When I worked at another on the other line, they let you use the bathroom. They don't care. Because then you go in there, you buy something, you buy soda, you buy your snacks or lunch or something. You know, they don't care because it's like a win-win for both. But this place, so nasty. Only for the stars. And guess what? They went out of business. They closed its doors in May. Good. So... And it says he hopes to revive in another location, but I hope not. If he does, beware. Because it'll be a bunch of nasty snobs. So, that's my rant. <laughs> I'm in a bad mood just thinking about all this crap. <laughs> well, sorry to be so grumpy. But hey, it gets me mad. I'm sure you would too. So, alright everybody. Have a pleasant day. I love you. Bye.